Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and today we are checking out version 2.0 of the Got Friends GBR3. This is an incredible aircraft before the latest update but after you've seen the patch notes and we experience this aircraft with 2.0 it's going to be a completely different aircraft. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides, as well as any future updates and future guides that will be coming down the road. Link to Patreon can be found in the description below. Okay, so taking a look at the patch notes, guys. Now, I'm not going to go through all of this. I'm just going to let you guys pause the screen if you feel uh, the desire to and read through it. It is a huge update. The aircraft has been almost, I mean, for me, it's like it's been rebuilt. Um, so we're going to have a ton of different things to check out today. A lot of visual effects, a lot of visual improvement. The really cool part, guys, is the fully VR compatible. Now, I have flown this thing off screen, and I'm actually working on trying to find a really good, high-quality method to record virtual reality. That's the only reason why I don't bring it to the channel. Uh, VR recordings are one of those things that just tend to be so choppy and pixelated that it just sort of takes away from what we're trying to do here. But I can promise you that this aircraft in VR is insane. Uh, there's some really cool areas like one we're going to do today where you can really grip it and rip it and enjoy it. So anyway, guys, on FlightSim.2 and SimMarket.com, the aircraft is right now on sale for $9.99. And even when it's not on sale, it's it's only $15.99. Is it $15.99 or, or it might be uh, actually, nope, 15 bucks. There we go. Original $15. Um, so it is a heck of a deal. Okay, this is a really, really neat aircraft. Now, I believe the only way that this aircraft actually exists in the real world is as a kit model. Um, I don't think it's actually a produced human pilot model, but I could be mistaken on that. But either way, trust me, you're going to really enjoy this aircraft. She's a blast to fly. We have NOS in the aircraft. We have smoke in the aircraft. We're going to be messing with all of it. So let's go ahead and get back into the seat and start talking about it. All right, so I'm keeping the sound down relatively quiet for right now because we have quite a bit of wind on the ex exterior here. But guys, look at the textures of this thing. I mean, it looks absolutely amazing. Look at the props, the wheels, the wings. I mean, everything looks wonderful. I mean, it just looks like a bull. It looks like a badass. You know, this thing is awesome. They have a ton of different liveries that come with it. There, I don't have any third-party liveries installed with this aircraft. Um, I believe this is the uh, default, the fireball livery is what this one is. And it's just a really overall gorgeous aircraft. And like I said, there are a ton of liveries that you can pick from. Absolutely an amazing amount. It's really a fantastic aircraft. I know I keep going around and around, but trust me, it really is. So let's go ahead and jump into the cockpit and we'll start taking a look at flying and we'll talk about a few key bindings that you might want to have on the ready. Okay, so stepping into the seat, it's a very simple aircraft to fly into. Now, you if you read through the documentation that comes with it, you have the GNS 430, the 530, and the GTN 750 that are all compatible with this particular aircraft. So a ton of uh, avionics options, if you ask me. I think that's a wonderful start as well. Now, the other really cool thing about this aircraft is the nitrous. It has a nitrous injection system on it, and one of the things that you're going to want to make sure that you bind is the toggle water rudder. Uh, you can find that in the MSF controls, or if you're using SPAD.next, it is available there as well under the SIM Connect settings. Um, and then, you, as long as you have, even though this aircraft itself doesn't have flaps, as long as you have the flaps control binded or bound, I should say, excuse me, uh, that will also control your different smoke settings. So we have white, red, orange, blue, and green smoke, and you just toggle your flaps. We'll make a little bit of a mess here on the tarmac for a second. So if we just toggle our flaps, there's white, red. There use the different colors, and then as we come back in, flaps up to turn them all off. And we're gold, golden, good to go. So now let's get into getting the aircraft in the air, and we are going to go tear some tail through the Grand Canyon. We're going to fly out to the Navajo Bridge, do a little bit of sightseeing, then bring it back in for a landing. So we should have a pretty good time. All right, let's get this show on the road. The nice thing about this aircraft is extremely easy to fly. So you have your fuel mixture here or our fuel tank selection here. We're just going to, oops, roll it back to both here. Make sure our prop is full. Throttle's cracked. Let's see what we got here. We got our battery and alternator down over here. Nav lights come on. 
Do, 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 do. And go ahead and turn the strobe light on. We don't have any, any collision lights. Hit the fuel pump for a minute. Wait for that pressure to peak. Bring that back down. And let's give her a start. Come on. Ah, one more. Very good sound to this aircraft. Love the sound. Let's go outside for just a minute so you guys can hear it. Beautifully done on the sound. Let's turn our avionics on. Pedo heat, we'll go ahead and throw it on now because we're not doing what you'd call a massive takeoff or anything here. And let's see here. Get that up here. Do, 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 do. Make sure our sky dolly is ready to go so we can get some of those cool recording shots. Turn the taxi light on. Set our barometric pressure. We're just going to use the old B key. Turn our transponder on. Do some altitude reporting here. Come on. Come on. There we go. And altitude is reporting. Good. It did pick that up. I'm sort of shocked that it got that. But hey, I'm not going to complain, right? All right, I think we're good to go, guys. Let's uh, let's fly this little lady. I believe rotation speed is about 55 knots, so we'll be looking for that on takeoff. And let's see what we got going on. I am way far back now. Let me set this camera back up. Scoot up just a bit. That's better. There we go. We're still sort of seeing the seat, but that's all right. And I believe this is our parking brake. It's been a minute. Yeah, it's the parking brake. And you got to really watch it, man. This thing will get going. As you can see, I'm very nervous on the throttle still. No flaps to worry about on this aircraft. Although we do taxi like we're on a racetrack here. Let me add some brakes here. Slow the aircraft back down. This aircraft will pick up off the ground before you even realized it happened. I actually think I want to turn there, if memory serves. Come on. Oh, come on, little lady. Bring that tailwheel around. And so we're going to fly out of here. We're at Grand Canyon National right now. Fly out of here, and we're going to head on up to the Grand Canyon. We're going to dive into the canyon, probably turn some smoke on, play around with that a little bit, zip through the canyon. We don't need the full runway, so I'm not going to use it. We're just going to come up on Charlie here. And uh, let's uh, flip that landing light on as we take the runway. Make sure we don't have any traffic. We're good. All right, we're just going to do a roll. There's our 55 knots. And we're up. Woo! Let's add some elevator trim here. Baby, come on. Alright, and let's just see if we can get a nice, easy turn to the left here. This aircraft will snap roll on a dime, man. On a dime. Let's head on over to the canyon. There it is right there. Let me reset my camera. See, now I feel like I'm up too high. I fight this camera more than anything. I think I spend more time fighting the camera than I do flying the aircraft. All right, let's pull some prop back. Take her back to about 2,000.
You can see all the bouncing around. I'm going to give you guys a hands-free controls here. We are completely off the controls. I'm going to pick my head up just a little bit. There we go. And so again, this is hands-free. This is just what the aircraft's reacting to the environment. So a lot of fun there. Makes it challenging. Such a fun little plane. It really is. Got a nice cruise speed. Cruise speed ideally is about 100 and, uh, 180 knots, give or take. So we're a little slow, but that's all right. Manifold pressure is probably a little on the slow side. Still in a climb as well. Welcome to the Grand Canyon. Ooh, baby. Getting bounced around down in here, aren't we? Let's see if we can cause some trouble. The wind noises are pretty impressive on this aircraft. I'm going to turn the game sounds down a little bit because they're a little on the loud side, so I want to make sure that... You guys can hear my beautiful voice. Let's turn some smoke on. Let's go for blue. And we'll have some cool uh, recording shots here in a minute. I've got Sky Dolly running. Yeah, I'm getting warnings. Let's add that prop back in. Ooh, it does not like it down in here. <laughs> this is actually kind of intimidating, not going to lie. Probably wasn't really designed for this kind of flight. Camera angles are just killing me today. Ooh, baby, come on now. Don't be so mean. Let me try to back the camera up a little bit without hitting a wall. There we go. Probably not a good place to do that, huh? Pretty sure everything that we're doing is about as illegal as illegal can get. Series a bit more intense. Time that one right. <clears throat> I 
Like I said, fun little airplane. Definitely a lot of fun. Alright, we should be coming up on the Navajo Bridge here. There it is. A little sightseeing moment. Yeah! All right, pulled it off. <laughs> All right, let's hug this side. <laughs> really is a fun little aircraft, man. All right. Nice little fun flight. This was a lot of fun. It was a long flight, so I took a lot of it out of it. Sort of uh, underestimated how far away this bridge really was, but it's definitely cool. What do you think? Can we go up around through the middle of the two bridges without killing ourselves? Let's find out. Got to position us just right. Yow! <laughs> Oh, that was so dumb. <laughs> yeah, like I said, a fun little flight. Like I said, you guys in the beginning in VR, <laughs> crap like that will get you. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, we've had our fun, now let's try to land it. I forgot to bind the speed brake, so I'm just gonna trigger them manually. 
I know it's a little early, but like I said, I forgot to bind them. Totally my fault. We're just going to use power to maintain it. Try to get a nice, smooth landing here. As soon as I cut the RPMs, it should fall like a rock. Ah, come on, baby. Crosswind, crosswind, crosswind. There we go, it wasn't bad. Yeah, you definitely want to bind the speed brakes. I totally forgot to. And there, folks, is the uh, GBR3 version 2. This thing was a ton of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, be sure to hit that like and subscribe if you did. As always, stay safe and healthy. I'll see you in the next one.